Mathematic Plumber here, and today let's talk about gas trains. Now a gas train is just a fancy way of talking about all the components that you would find in a gas burner system. Now typically we would see a gas train all combined in this little combination gas valve like this. But when we lay it out all in its components, like older systems or large commercial systems, this is what it'll kind of look like. Always we have safety first. This is a gas safety valve. We've got a thermocouple that goes into there. And this is a pilot tube going to the pilot light. So that is our typical thermocouple protected assembly. And it goes to this. If this thermocouple goes out or the pilot goes out, this gas valve that's built in here shuts off and no gas can flow through to the rest of the burner. And the next device is the regulator. The regulator will take the gas pressure down from about 7 inches of water column to about 3.5. The next de device is controlled by our thermostat. This is a solenoid gas valve. And then we just go off to our burner. If we get a call for heat, burner starts up. Once the call for heat is satisfied, burner shuts off. And, of course, if we have a problem with the pilot light going out, this is what it might look like. I'm going to simulate it. And everything goes out. So we call this 100% safe. Now the next type of gas train setup is like this. We call this a safe hookup. Now the reason why we don't call this 100% safe like the other one, and just a safe hookup, it's because I have my pilot assembly or the gas going to my pilot light joined in here with a manual valve. And if you follow the pilot tubing, it just goes straight to the pilot light. There is still a thermocouple, but if that thermocouple is turned right off, or if the thermocouple is not working, or if that pilot assembly um, blows out, it will just continually flow gas through there. There is nothing stopping the flow of gas through this pilot tubing. Seems a little silly, yes. I know that's what you're thinking. And where we use it, God knows where, other than in really old stuff. But it's still legitimate and it's still allowed by our gas code. So what happens here, though, is I have a pilot switch. Now, exact same setup as a regular pilot assembly. I've got my thermocouple going up to a power unit, which you can see right there. But now I've got an electric switch right there. And the power goes through my transformer, through my, my thermostat, and then through this switch to the gas valve. Meaning, if this pilot light is not burning and the thermocouple is not warmed up, this thing will not hold the power unit in place or it'll stop the flow of electricity going to my gas valve here, which is a diaphragm gas valve. So let's test it out. So I've already lit it up. I made sure that it was engaged by pressing that button there. And click, we burn. And that turns off. Now you might have noticed a flame shooting out of this tube right here. I'm not gonna get my fingers too close. That is actually hot. That flame is from the diaphragm gas valve. It's called a bleed tube does that every time we uh, use the valve. All right, let's, uh, let's simulate a problem. I just disconnected the thermocouple. Notice how our flame is still burning. But will this fire up the main burner? Nope, won't do it. So that is a pilot switch in action. Now I have one more 100% safe setup to show you. Now it's, we got a slightly different device right here. This is still a pilot switch, but it's a 100% safe pilot switch, meaning the gas comes in through here and the pilot gas then comes down through there. So not only is it an electrical switch, it also switches the gas as well. And once again, it just uses a regular thermocouple connected the regular way and in this case we're once again using a diaphragm gas valve so once again safety first regulator gas valve control 
So this is wired up the same way as the last pilot switch. I got power from the transformer, it goes through a thermostat into here, and then it comes back out to the gas valve. And of course, we always have to complete the circuit. This is 24 volts going back to the transformer. But when I flip it on, away we go, we fire up and down we go. Now let's try to simulate a fault with this one. So there we go, we're burning. And I'm gonna simulate the thermocouple or the pilot assembly blowing out by just loosening the thermocouple. Let's see what happens to everything. Everything shuts off. Gas to the pilot, gas to the main burner, off. 100% safe, shut off. Now this segment, let's talk about these different pilot switches and safety valves so we can actually see them up close and personal. This is a pilot switch and this type does not control any gas. This is just thermocouple alone. You can see that it has one tapping for the thermocouple and we've got the power unit and our two electrical connections right there. This is a pilot switch that, well, I don't have it open, so you can't see the electrical connections that are inside, but there is two. And we can see the gas connections down below for our pilot assembly. And we can see the thermocou thermocouple connection in the top. So that's for 100% safe. And here is a safety gas valve. You'll notice that it doesn't have pilot tubing. Well, it actually does have connections for pilot tubing, but that is for the actual main gas line or the finished piping coming into the appliance. So once again, thermocouple. And we do have tappings here though for the thermocouple. So we can actually use this to have it as a safe hookup or 100% safe, depending on the tapping that we use here. Now, I don't know why you'd want to go safe hookup as opposed to 100% safe, but if you want to do that, you're going to have to read the manufacturer's instructions on this to see how to do that. Well, that brings us to the end of this video, and I hope you stay tuned for the next one where we talk about solenoid gas valves. And until then, you have a great day.